little girls. So in this video, we're going to talk about the guitar shoulder shimmy. So shoulder isolation, so we create, we can create with a shoulder isolation, shoulder shimmy, or just locking the shoulders. Right, left, right, left, right, left. And then we're going to talk about chest lock, chest circle, or chest uh, isolation, right? So we're gonna talk about chest locking the chest upward, front and back, front and back, front and back, and left, right, left, right, and then combining the different isolation together, you can create a circle, or just keeping it as an isolation. Okay, so first of all, let's talk about the right posture for most of our belly dance isolation to practice repetition. We want our foot parallel to each other and hip width apart. So if your hips are this size, the one you like to be like that, and you want it to be like that, you want to make exactly the same size of your hips. Now, knees slightly bent, always. So try to feel the weight of your body equally distributed between your toes and your heels. Now I would like you to squeeze your pelvis as if you have to go toilet and there is no toilet so you want to contract it as much as you can so you want to keep it strong down here and protect your lower back and you want to go in a neutral position so that your tailbone is perpendicular to the floor then keep your core strong lift up your chest roll back your shoulders bring your arms out so if you want to really create the right lines of your arms imagine that you're holding a big ball in front of you and it's large and long, right? So you want to drop down your shoulders. Now open up your arms and turn them upside down. Your wrists are always upward and your arms are looking pretty and these two feel, fingers are flirting with each other but they never touch each other. So we keep the dynamics and the energy going through your hands. Now roll back your shoulders, long neck, long neck and a big spine. So what we want to do now, start working on upper body isolation. What we want to do, we want to bring your right shoulders forward, and now the left one, and now right one, and now the left, and right, and left, and right, and left. So keep your wrist, you don't want to bring your arms around, it's just a shoulder isolation. So it's just the shoulder moving forward and back, and it's not your entire arm. And left, right. Stretch as much as possible. We never work on our shoulders. We always keep them forward because of office work and computer and incorrect posture. So right, left, right, left, right, left. Double time and right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Double time, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Right left, 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 five, four, three, two, one, breathing. Breathe out. People always mistake the upper body shoulder isolation with the shaking of your chest. It's nothing to do with your chest. I'm not doing this. I'm doing this. And obviously your chest moves accordingly is a shoulder. Thank you. 